Welcome. This is the video of Arch Linux BI3. The B is built itself and it's a special website, Arch Linux B, and you can take a look at it. All the projects are, are here. And we had this idea, hey, we have now Arch Linux BI, so we can make hundreds or so uh, possible uh, ISOs. And why not make a minimal ISOs for the guys? So, Arch Linux B, ISO min for minimal. We have already five desktops that we provide a minimal skeleton of software. It's around 700, 800 megabytes less. And it's up to you, as always, to change because even this minimal is not going to be good. Why? Because choices is, 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 uh, is so personal. A choice in software, etc. Control Shift C. I'm gonna follow this procedure and I'm gonna go to my desktop, open terminal there, Control Shift V. Oh, that's something else. Bad copy paste. Uh, I need this one. Okay. So let's do that again. Control C, not Control Shift C. Will not do anything. But here, Control Shift V. That's it. Enter. Now we have this um, folder from the internet. And all you need to know from for this folder, for this building, is that there are two folders. You first check this one, Arch ISO, and you open it with any of your preferred editors, right? And you scroll through it. Now the first line is, I would suggest you keep off, unless you know what you're doing, but it starts to be interesting at 216 software from Arch repos. So tip, a very interesting tip. You go down here to the right, plain text, and you put it to Perl. This shows you that all the white things are going to be installed on your Arco i3 minimal. But if you say, I really don't want dead leaf, and then we can go on. I don't want genie, and I don't want, and I don't want, etc. And you keep on hashtagging out elements that you say you don't like. But beware. That means that the shortcuts won't work as well. If you do Control Alt T and you want termite to start and you hashtag out termite, the shortcut will not work and so on. So it's a it's a puzzle and it's it's a learning phase to know what should I delete or delete hashtag out and what should I keep. But it's um, more flexibility that you ever could want. You're we are making a personal ISO. I can never make an ISO for every single person. Perfect. But now you can. It's up to you to put a hashtag and build. So see, go through them. And if you see elements that you say, I will never use that gparted. I don't care about gparted. And you keep on doing that exercise and you get an even more minimal one. Yeah. But there are things in here that should be and should kept in here, like a pull kit, for instance, one example. Reflector is going to get our faster servers. So it is and it stays and it will be a learning process. And that's okay if that's okay for you. So we save this thing. You go through them. And then you go one up in installation scripts. Right mouse click open the control in that folder because you want to run number 130. Sorry, number 30. That's it. Then he asks your password, give it to him, and then you can, in essence, walk away because it's a one-way ticket to an ISO that's even going to be a little bit smaller. So we have to wait till everything finishes. While he's doing his work, I would like to point out that we have Arcanix B as a website to learn. There are some tutorials. I'll post more tutorials on it. But we're going to use actively as well the forum because this may be your first build and you are going to see strange messages and you'll have lots of questions and we're going to put them all on the forum so and if errors occur some of the errors are quite normal and we'll post what to do next all right so go to the forum look for Alex B and you'll find their uh, answers to the questions 
And if there are new things, I'll post them there and we'll answer them. The advantage of the forum over a mail or YouTube comment and Facebook comment is that people coming to the forum will find my answer, your answer, our answers. 20 folds, you know. So one person is helped, but later on will help maybe 200 people with it. So waiting for this to finish and pausing the video here. Okay, I was busy doing other work. In the meantime, this machine has finished. 1.4 gig, that's what it produced. And uh, we're gonna check if that works. Now, our systems, our scripts, put their files in a specific place. And it's going to be Arch Linux B out, or Arch Linux out, or Arch Linux D out. So it's in the B version that we'll have to look. And it's gonna be in here. Now let me do it like this, a size for instance. So XFC, BSP is not correct what I'm doing, you know, but it's just uh, to show you how low you can go till 1.3. If you keep on uh, taking away information, keeping taking away of um, applications, of course you get almost a bare bone. So it's this one that we need to put in our system. And we have Oracle for that. I3, where are you? So it's this I3 minimal. Choose the desktop, desktop. This should be the last one, 344. Open. So it's not that much of gigabytes anymore. Let's move it to the correct window. I'm not going to go over the installation. You know how to install Oracle Linux by now. But let's wait for the pop-up, Calamares, and then the choices start. Then it's personal, you decide how to install your system. And there we go. So now it's just next, 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 and all the choices, and you'll have an Arcanix B i3 WM. Minimal. All right, have fun.